Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna cut some willow. That's right guys, you've heard me. We're gonna cut down some willow trees. So they've all been planted in rows, so it should be nice and easy. The machine we're using is a Class Jaguar 870. It's a modified size harvester, but we'll have a look at it later on in the video. First, let's go cut some willow. So I'm just driving down now to the path of the first cut, back to meet the harvester. And um, yeah, it's kind of weird just being in the middle of a path where there used to be trees. So now we go in the harvester and watch it cutting down the trees. You can see the old trees quivering there as they get cut and then fed into the machine. Here's a better view of the trees. The discs are cutting them, pushing them over and then sucking them in. The machine is fairly loud. Now with a full trailer, we take it to the shed. Here's Andy reversing it back. It's a full trailer and we're going to tip it for the first load. Okay, so that's the first load, now back to the field. We joined the harvest here again. They're halfway full for this trailer. The last Jaguar is 400 horsepower, so it shouldn't have any problem cutting down these trees. The trees have been sown in rows, which makes it very easy for the harvester to drive, so that the wheels drive in the grass pit and the stumps go underneath the machine. Same for the tractor. You can hear the harvester humming away as the trees quiver as they get cut, they drop, get fed into the machine, chipped, and then blown into the trailer. There's some really quivering trees. Okay, so the harvester has done one loop, come back around. This time I'm gonna jump in beside the driver. Okay, so now I'm in the cab here with Jamie. Jamie's the driver and uh, he's doing a great job. But uh, I tell you, this is something else. To see trees getting pushed over, cut, getting sucked in like muschetti, like just getting totally sucked into the machine, uh, chipped the palm out of the machine, I don't think the video can do it just, it's so loud. There's not much protection between us and the outside world. And um, it is kind of scary at the start, but you do kind of get weirdly uh, used to it. So uh, very interesting machine to watch. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now and we're gonna to listen to some more of the machine. They said, uh, seat's empty, so jump in and um, got some willows, so this is some fun. So, uh, that's the seat there. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to shoot video while recording, but um, that's the hand controls here for forward and backwards, steering wheel in front of me, so um, yeah, this is actually exciting. So, see you in a bit. Jamie took up the camera and shot some video. Yeah, so this took for my full concentration. It's really strange to drive. So you have this big horn out front, and as long as you get timber to meet the center of the horn, it should all go into the machine pretty okay. And if you just drive very slowly, everything goes well. As long as you don't have to steer too much, you just watch everything. You're driving at a nice steady pace, that you're watching the tractor on the other side of you and you're blowing all the material into the trailer. So every so often you can hear the machine kind of picking up speed and slowing down, that's as the timbers come in. There we go, there is the, all the chips without being blown into the trailer. Okay, so just a very quick warning for all those people that are listening to headphones. I'm going to turn up the volume just to give you an impression of how loud the machine is. Because I don't think the camera quite gave it just of how loud the machine was. Okay, 
guys that was absolutely mental so a big thank you to Jamie for um, being there and helping me uh, cut the timber he was a great mentor but um, don't think this is a job for me but uh, that was absolutely mental that was brilliant absolutely brilliant thanks Jamie for that so I've been made redundant and uh, back here on the ground again so I'm going to shoot some more footage and convey the two lads to work away on the run it's really hard to convey it's just how tall these trees are. It's like double the height of the harvester, which is already pretty tall. And to watch these trees just quiver and they just drop to the ground, get sucked with the machine, chipped and then blown into the tread all in one go is absolutely amazing. Here's another view of the harvester running. You can see how it pushes over the trees, cuts them, and then sucks them in. And now time to take a look at the machine. The machine that we're running is a class Jaguar 870, and the family owns it are called Bailey's. And uh, it's a modified silage harvester. So let's have a look at it and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so the first thing we have here sticking out the front of it is called the horns so these push the trees over so they give the tree a bit of an angle and a bit of pressure on it and then at the bottom we have two not one but two hedge cutter units they're uh, spinning discs and they'll cut the tree so the pressure on the the tree and the cutting it will kind of help it to fall over this way and go in this way next it gets sucked into the machine by just a standard silage intake and uh, there's the chopper box is still inside and it gets chopped up and then blown out the chute as chip. So it's a new day and we're ready to go again. So we have Noel at the helm this time. So now that we know a little bit more about the machine, let's watch it in action. Wow, so talk about loyalty. So Simba the dog has returned to watch us cook with him. Okay, so here we have the very last load coming in. It hasn't been all fun and games, I've been busy pushing all the loads up. And wow, the pile is getting big. Here we have Andy now, tipping the last load up. Wires have arrived with a 40 foot walking floor trailer, so now we're going to load up and fill the trailer. Unfortunately, the JCB doesn't have a very big bucket, but I'll make do. Oh, careful, don't spill a bit. So, loading the trailer is a bit repetitive, but it takes about an hour to fully fill the trailer. Our trailer was all full next we had to feed the willow so we got another walking floor trailer this time full of compost and we put it into the dung spreader it's fairly dusty stuff and then we spread it on the willows it was like a sandstorm coming out behind me but um, it's great stuff and the willow absolutely loves it so a little bit of N, a little bit of P, and a little bit of K. And a lot of work out of that. I'll just show some footage now of spreading all the compost on the willow.
So guys, that's how much the willow has grown. It's been about two months since making the original video. And um, look how much everything has grown. So from putting out the compost or that um, organic matter, uh, all the roads have just regenerated. So it is a bioenergy crop or a renewable energy crop, which means we don't have to replant this every time we cut it. It does regrow from the root. So as we cut it, then the following year, it'll regenerate again or it'll grow again. And uh, then we can keep cutting it and just every three years cycle, it just regrows itself again. So the neat thing about willow is, maybe we'll just pick out this one here. So we can say like one stump was cut. So you can see that's the bottom of the stump just there. Well, there's actually two stumps. So you can see one stump there and one stump there. And look how many other plants there's been now growing out of it. So there's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. About nearly twenty plants, or say twenty stalks. Now maybe not all of them will grow. Maybe a few of them will die off because as the canopy grows up, the canopy will close in. So maybe not enough light will get in. So maybe the plant will selectively kill off the the, the weaker plants. But that's an incredible. So this is from from cutting to spring the the dust or the organic matter to that's how much has grown. That's incredible. And you can see the rows down this way. All the plants are doing really well, so we're delighted. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'm still buzzing after driving. It's a harvester, it's 400 horsepower. It's crazy, just absolutely mental. And um, still buzzing, but um, thanks very much for watching. If you like these videos, tell me that you like the farming videos, or do you like um, forestry videos, or just car show only videos, or just car the fixing the Corrado. I won't take any of them into consideration, but I'll still make the videos, but tell me anyway. So um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Support me on PayPal in the link below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.